Well, again, here we go, part three of the clutch job. Um, when they say the worst part about it is the starter, they're right. It kind of sucks. Um, basically, I took the heat shield that's sitting right there. Take that off first. There's two 13 millimeter bolts holding it on. You can kind of get at them just with a socket. The uh, one's right there, and the other one's up right behind this fork looking thing there. Um, and it's just two bolts hold the starter in. There's a, a shim plate. You want to be sure to get this back in. Um, I don't know if they had a long bolt in this one, but it had a spacer on it, so I put it in that hole. And that's where it's going to stay, so right now I'm getting ready to drain the transmission. I'm going to take this part of the flange off for the, the intermediate shaft. Um, I have the three bolts for the holding plate loose. So once this flange is off, it should the intermediate shaft should slide right out the passenger side. I'm going to just far enough to get the transmission out. So uh, I'm almost home free. All ready to, once I drain the transmission, I'm ready to take this off and break the transmission from the motor. And it's time to do a, just change the clutch itself and put it all back together. But uh, part four will be in a little bit. 